Hello YouTube and welcome to Chica Tequila's first exclusive video on YouTube. Today we're going to be playing One Finger Death Punch. Um, but essentially I'm going to be talking more about myself. Um, only in this first video. It's a little introduction to myself. What games I like, what games I don't like. Um, what I've done for the past 28 years of my life, etc, etc. Uh, I will keep it as short and sweet as possible. So don't worry, when I say I'm going to tell you about the last 28 years years of my life I'm not I'm just gonna sort of give you a brief history of me now um, before I do that I'll, I'll explain one finger death punch one finger death punch is a, um, a game that uses two buttons X and B X will attack the left si side of the screen B will attack the right side of the screen I'm gonna play it in survival mode just so you can see uh, exactly uh, how the game works now Iron Fist uh, these are the four active uh, the four active moves I have equipped at the moment are Iron Fist, Grey Out, Deep Impact and Heal. Iron Fist will um, make all enemies back off after 32 kills. After 30 kills all enemies will turn grey on Grey Out. Deep Impact kills does an AoE, kills everyone on screen. Um, after 37 kills and heal, you heal one health after uh, 100 kills. So, I'll load up the game now. Um, the reason why I like this game is because it reminds me of when I was in school, in high school. Um, we had a, a viral video, I'll probably put the link on the description box below, uh, of a YouTube video of just two stickmen fighting to the death. It was brutal, but it was fun. Um, so I'll upload that so you can have a look at that as well, or I'll put the link in for the thing. Now, this game is pretty simple to play. It's very hard to master. You get 10 lives um, on this mode. And that green bar at the bottom, once it's full up, you get a bonus round, uh, which is quite exciting. I'm not going to spoil it just yet. If you've played the game, you already know what it's going to be. So, uh, yeah, there you go. Um, now, I'm going to tell you a bit about myself. I'm, my name's... Well, we'll go with Chief Keeler for now. I won't go into too much detail of who I really am. Um, I live in the United Kingdom, as you can probably tell from my uh, British accent and all that. And um, I've been playing games since I was about four years old. I had a Spectrum uh, and went up in the world to an Amiga, NES, NES, etc, etc. Um, the only console I don't think I've ever owned was an N64, but that was because my brother had one. Uh, and we used to smash Golden Eye, especially Golden Gun Wars. It's fantastic for the win. Now, the reason why I've wanted to uh, I want to do this is because I've been watching a lot of other people do it and I think it looks like fun really. It's I play games, why not just put it online and see what people think of, of the games I play. Now essentially I have got games in mind that I will be playing. Um, in the future I want to be doing Dark Souls 2 uh, which you will hear me raging out quite a lot in um, and also I want to play South Park Stick of Truth. Uh, Grand Theft Auto 5, I might do a few videos on that. Battlefield 4, uh, when that comes out. Sorry guys, I am a Battlefield uh, fan over Call of Duty. Um, I understand if that's if I've lost a, uh, a few people to, uh, because I said that. That's just the way I feel. Now, this is the bonus round. It's a lightsaber battle, which is epic. I mean, it, what, what can I say? You know? You get a lightsaber and you just get to pummel people until you've lost uh, the four blue dots at the bottom of the screen. Now that white dude, he's uh, he heals as well. So I've got full health anyway, so it's not really an issue. Um, but as I said, it can get relatively quick. But okay, well I'm back. Um, so that was the end of that. Uh, pretty quick, um, unfortunately. So yeah, um, as I was saying, I'm going to be playing them, them games. Uh, if there's any games, they're my mainstream games. Essentially, I want to also do indie games. I feel that the indie developers don't get as much... What's the word? I'm it's not, it's not airtime, but they don't get as much... It's not PR either, but it is. I mean, they haven't got PR, they haven't got... They can't spend money to advertise these things, so they go by unnoticed. I think if there's more people like myself out there that's willing to do 
you know, these sort of put these games online on YouTube, then more people will be able to know about these games. There's been so many times where I've wanted to uh, buy an indie game, and I'm thinking, uh, and I've thought, well, actually, I'm not too sure. Let's have a look online, and I can't find anything about the game. And I think that we need to we need to help these guys out because they are the future uh, of gaming. I'm not talking essentially in the next year or two, but they might be in 10 years' time. The guys that made this game might turn around and go, OK, we've made this one game, let's make a, an awesome game for the Xbox One or the PS4, or both. Um, <coughs> so, I think it's important to, to show our support. That's a good word for it. Um, so I will be doing indie games as well. Um, it's going to be a bit of mix, but I, essentially I want my I want my viewers to, to decide what I play. Um, obviously I'm gonna I'm still play the games I want to, um, but if, if someone turned around and said I want you to start doing an Assassin's Creed, uh, I, I'll do that. You know I'm not a huge fan of the Assassin's Creed, but I'll give it a go and uh, I'll put some videos online and see, you know, you can let me know what you think. Um, so essentially, that is what I want to do with this YouTube side. Um, it's just upload videos and stuff. This is my first video, so there will be points where I'm not talking. It's not because I don't want to, it's just I don't know what to say. I'm new. Uh, so you, give, me, give me a time, give me some time. It might be alright. Uh, this is the second bonus round, which is nunchucks. Um, always reminds me of Mikey from the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, also. Um, <coughs> what will happen, on the third bonus round, it then goes back to lightsabers. There are only the two, which is a shame. Uh, I mean, they're both amazing, but it would be awesome if they could sort of, uh, maybe bring in a third one. Just for my enjoyment, me. Right, I've hit 80, so it's going to start speeding up soon. Okay, that's the, oh, that's the end of that. Um, well, 132 kills go on top of my... But oh, we're only on eight lives, so we're doing fine. Um, yeah, so if there's any games that you want uh, want me to, to play, um, please just put it in the comment section below. Um, my favourite type of games are RPGs. Uh, without a doubt. I'm not a huge fan of sports games. I'm, I don't see the point in playing a game which you can physically just go outside and, and play yourself. Um, I get I get games like Call of Duty because you just can't go out and fight with people. But you can, but I recommend it. Um, or any sort of zombie game. Or games like Skyrim. It's just, it's impossible to to do that, so I understand the game inside of that, but to sit down and play a football game it just seems a bit tricky. So you won't see many sports games on, on my uh, page I'm afraid, so if you're big on the sports game, uh, I would recommend looking for someone else, sorry, but it's just not my cup of tea. And for that reason alone, please, please don't ask me to, to play sports games because you will be disappointed. Because um, it's not going to happen. Um, favorite game of all time is probably Final Fantasy VII. I know a lot of people say that, um, but I honestly I remember the first time I, I, I bought that. I was 27. I'm 28 now. Uh, God, I can't work it out. I'm trying to not die. Um, I must have been 13. Or 13 I guess. Uh, I remember reading the back and it says, have you bought your memory card? And I'm thinking, I was thinking I already had one at the time. Um, so yeah. um, but when I was playing it, I didn't realise how big it actually was. To me, oh, lightsaber battle. 
to me it was just a game at the time and I thought it was an amazing game, brilliant story. It was one of the first games that truly got me engrossed in, in the game. Um, so yeah, I've played I've played Final Fantasy VII quite a few times. In fact, I've got it on my PS3. I, I, if you guys want, I'm quite happy to do a daily Final Fantasy VII video. Uh, you know, it'd be good to, to reminisce, I suppose, with you guys over it. At the moment, my games that I am playing more frequent, which you probably won't see because I'm already quite far into it. In Borderlands 2, um, I've got a level 51 Gunzerka, which I play with a friend. Um, I'm not going to do this with Come on, guys. Um, but if, if you want, uh, I could start again. I've got all the DLC for it, so uh, I could essentially start a new character and upload that onto YouTube. Um, I've been thinking of. Oh, well, that's the end of that. I've been thinking of starting Skyrim again. Um, every time I do, though, after about 150, 200 hours, I get a game crash crashing bug, and I've never managed to complete the game. Uh, not even main story, because I always avoid main story, I think it's... I don't know, I haven't even played it through once on main story, so I can't even say whether it's good or not, but I just... I find that games like Skyrim, there's so much going on that you don't essentially need to follow it, the main story. Um, I'm also playing Battlefield at the moment. But I feel that with my... where I've been playing um, Borderlands too, I've... I've become a bit reckless on, on Battlefield, but it seems to be working for me. Uh, uh, I play it more like I'm playing Call of Duty. Um, uh, I'm going to be doing um, State of Decay. I, I bought it a while back. I played it briefly, but I haven't gone down to my last life, so um, yeah, this, this video is going to be over shortly. Um, but yeah, State of Decay is a, video, is a game that I've wanted to play properly for a while. And I've been waiting for my daily uh, channel, my channel, so I can start doing dailies online, uh, uploading them and, and going from there. Well, that's the end of that. 974 kills. Uh, no, let's just start. Um, that's probably not the greatest score I've had. I don't want to brag. Uh, let's have a look. I don't, did I even make it on the scoreboard? My highest kill streak is 1,333, which isn't even that great, but there we go. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do State of Decay, uh, Skyrim, they're on, they're on the list at the moment. And as I said, new indie games that come out, I think what I'll do is, when I buy them, without even playing them, I'm going to upload a video uh, and play it for the first time with you guys. So you can see, you know, firsthand what I think of these games. Because um, I think it's important, uh, as I said earlier, for you guys to go out and buy these indie games. It keeps indie development going, and it keeps it keeps the market fresh. Uh, if a, a million people went out and bought this One Finger Death Punch, I'm sure the company would then decide to make bigger, better, more uh, expansive games. And is that's what we want, you know? So I'm going to leave it there. Uh, I'm going to stop this video now. Uh, I've given you a brief introduction myself. You've seen what um, what I'm going to be doing. I hope you enjoy. Any comments, just leave them in the bottom. And as I said, I'm going to link in the page in the description box um, for that video, which uh, which I'm reminiscent of when I play this game. So thanks for listening.